to another not well sleeping bag. They asked if I could review and they kindly said yes and send me over a sample. Um, so a disclaimer, I didn't buy this. This is a, a review sample. Um, but this is the out, Outwell Contour in Midnight Black. It's uh, another bag that we're going to test at our home campsite because we're still in the COVID-19 lockdown. So this is a two to three season sleeping bag. Um, that means it's going to do, I think most, most people through their camping season, ideal through summer and, and a bit longer, maybe a warm Easter and a, a bit longer. Um, I'll show you the temperature range on the, it's printed on the bottom there. So it's fairly good. Fairly good range for most people's camping. Um, obviously, if um, you're going to go camping in cooler weather, then you might want to get a full three season sleeping bag, which can allow you a few more degrees of comfort. But for most people's camping season, this is absolutely perfect. And you'll see uh, you've got a lot of details on the side here, including how you can attach them together to make a double. Now, one thing you might notice that's got a little special feature of this is cold side up, you've got one temperature range and hot side up, you've got another temperature range because this bag is designed so you can use it a few different ways, which is going to give you a lot of flexibility over your sleeping bag. So. If you want a sleeping bag that's going to keep you fairly warm when it is cooler weather, then you've got that. But sometimes if you've got one of those warm sleeping bags, when it does get warmer, they just get too warm and too hot in your tent. So this one's got an innovative design where you can actually turn the bag over and it's got different layers of insulation that work differently depending on which way the bag is up. So you can have it once for cooler weather and you have it another way for warmer weather. So out of one bag, you almost get two. If that makes sense. Two for the price of one, or whatever the slogan is. So here's the toggle mechanism. You just top it off, and as you see, it's got a little hat that goes over the end there, so it stops dust and muck getting into, which I think is a great design, actually, for, for we really love these bags, but when we store all our stuff together, because you know it's going to keep the sleeping bag nice and nice. And there's a lot of sleeping bags that just have a, uh, a drawstring on their stuff sack like this, but with a little hat that goes over the top, it's all nice and protected in there. So let's open it up. It's it's quite a comfort range bag. It hasn't got a hood over the top of it. It's got this built-in pillow area here. We open this up here. Can you see that opens nice? and easily it's got uh, this piping down the side here to try and help keep the fabric away it makes it easier to open and it's got this extra material just inside the bit sit here so when you do have it up tight that keeps that well insulated so here we've got it and you can see the little symbol on here this is the cold side on the up so when you've got the cold side on the up um, that's when you're going to get the extra insulation in the sleeping bag for when it's colder. So if you've got the cold symbol showing, that's the way it comes up. And uh, here we get in the bag. I've just got it on the uh, Outwell Starland, Outwell Starland uh, sleeping bed that I trying out here. Quite a large space in the leg room, so you can stretch your legs out quite a bit, so you've got lots of movement within the sleeping bag. It's really comfortable actually, so time to get out and show you the other side. We've got the warm side up. So just to refresh your memory, so with the warm side up, you can see we've got this temperature range here and with the cold side up we got the temperature range there so warmer nights you want the hot side up cooler nights cold side up and of course we've unzipped and zipped the uh, the 
pillow section on so it goes around the right way. And uh, what it does mean though is you've got your pocket on the back here. Which it's on the cold side. Let's get in. So, in again, same amount of space of course as before. And uh, yes, it's quite comfortable. Now, it, it, it is warm day anyway, but um, it doesn't feel quite as hot the bag as before. But how much that is just because I know this is the cooler side, I don't know. Um, I don't expect it's, it's, it's too warm today to tell much difference, but it does feel a bit lighter this bag now on the top here. So, um, yeah, I think there is something to it, but of course, the proof is in the sleeping. Um, so of course, I think we're going to give it a try. It's going to get quite cool tonight. So I'm going to re-zip the, uh, pillow part of this on the other side and turn it so it's the cold side up, ready for the cooler night. Uh, last night with the Contour uh, in midnight black, um, I slept in this and it was a very comfortable sleeping bag. Uh, temperature went down, it was quite cool last night. We did have um, the Outwell Catla heater in the bedroom, so it, it was fairly warm. And if anything, I got rather warm, so I just unzipped this and used this as a duvet. I could have unzipped it and turned it all around, but I didn't want to disturb people in the night. So uh, I just used it. Um, as a big duvet. The um, pillow pillows sort of work well, but I did, because we're camping at home, I did just grab the pillow from the bed. You sometimes can't can't beat what you've got at home, yeah, can you? So, now I'm just gonna try and get it back in the bag. Um, I am just itching to use it out on the campsite this summer, when we get this COVID-19 lockdown lifted. We are back in its case. Put the little lid back on to keep it all protected and dust free. Compression straps. And there we go. Back ready for our next camp. <laughs>